Hello, my fellow gamers. It's Katesy, and welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I am Creative Katesy, aka Katesy, and welcome to my channel. So, guys, this video is going to be a little bit different today, and that is just because of the fact that I am doing this more as an update on my island instead of my usual island tours or my speed belt. And the reason being is because I realized that while I was doing my speed builds with all of you, I ran into a slight issue. And that is, even though I loved how the speed build turned out, I loved what I created, I loved inspiring all of you, the issue that I ran into is I didn't hit home with what I was trying to do, and that was having a sky core themed. I really, really wanted to push to have that sky core themed and make you feel like you're exploring floating islands, so to speak. So, what I did was I'm leaving those speed builds up there on the website or on my channel, and instead I have gone ahead and updated those areas that we have gone through so far or that we've done speed builds for so far and I'm going to show you the changes and why I made those changes so I'm going to have you guys kind of come along with me I'm going to show you what I've done so far why I've changed those uh made those changes on those particular areas and then um kind of give you a little bit of a glance for what I'm working on for a new area. So it's kind of an update slash preview. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I will break it down based upon the speed builds that we've done so far. So far, so it'll we'll cover the entrance, we'll cover the campsite, and we will cover the um, the resident house. So let's start exploring and showing you guys what changes have been made. So the first and foremost change right and this entrance area that you can see is I removed the bridge and the waterfall. So you can say in the background that those items or those features are no longer present in this uh, this build. And I've also moved it a lot closer to, um, to the entrance. And part of that reason is because of what I will show you here in a moment. So everything else on this particular part of the entrance is the same. I still wanted to have this walk across bridge that you see here just to kind of make it feel like you are, this is the transition from the non-floating to the floating portion of the island. So I wanted to keep that there. I did shorten up the area just a little bit. So if you remember from the speed build or if you remember from um, previews from other portions of my island, um, this extended out a little bit more. I've shortened that a little bit to kind of give it uh, a more compact feeling to it. And I added in the uh, the road here so that way you we had a path to follow. But when it came to this bridge, uh, you can see that I've removed it and removed the water. I wanted it when you looked at the residential services to make it feel like it's far away. And when you were on that bridge, you did not get that feel. And so that is why that is why it now is updated to look like as it is. I still have some pieces that I want to add. I still feel like it's kind of empty. So I'm gonna add in some more decoration and things like that. So those will be coming up in the future. I will not be making remaking these speed build videos for the entrance, the, the campsite, or the resident house. And that's just because of the fact, uh, the timing and everything that I, I basically just took what I existed and just kind of compact it a little bit. So that's what you see that I've done here. Um, you'll also notice that the upper level cliff that was right in front of this windmill is no longer in existence. I have pretty much separated this uh, this entrance area or this overview area from what I would consider the campsite area. Um, I did create this little spot where there is the fallen log. I kind of wanted to do the idea of um, that there was once a tree here and it just kind of fell over and it's what connects the two areas without actually connecting those two areas. 
So I know that there are codes out there that I could have used instead, but I like the fact that this log, it gives you that feel, but also makes the other portion behind the campsite in you're not able to access it. There we go. That's the word that I was looking for. So those are the differences that you can see for this main entrance. Again, um, not to say that I didn't like my original an uh, entrance design. I really did love it. It just did not give me that feel of uh, the Skycore theme that I was going for. So um, feel free to keep watching it though, guys. If you find inspiration from it, definitely uh, watch it. Definitely enjoy it. I I still do love that that build. I, I am so far loving every single build that I'm doing. It's just, it did not make me feel like I was staying true to that Skycore feel. So that's an update on let us head over to the campsite. Uh, you'll notice not much has changed. As far as overall feel and look that you have here, it's still relatively the same. You still have the large uh, pond over here. We still have the decorations that are down here on the beach and even the ones that are up here. The biggest changes are adding the, the wood planks here underneath some of these items, um, bringing this clothesline closer to everybody, uh, switching things up a little bit as far as the placement of these items. But the biggest change I would have to say is actually behind the campsite. We no longer have that upper cliff that you see that we used to see there with the waterfalls. And that was because of the fact that that was where the um, the entrance portion connected with the campsite portion. And it really made it feel like that entrance portion wasn't a quote quote floating area and so that is why um, I removed it I wasn't able to keep the cliffs there because of the fact that I just didn't have the room there was just not a lot of room to work with I tried to keep the um, waterfalls that I currently had on this lower level as much as I possibly could uh, so those ones were easy to keep but keeping the next level up waterfalls was just not going to be possible so I instead put in a lot more flowers back there. I put the trees where I could definitely fit them. I really wish we could put trees next to water. I mean, come on. In in real life, there are trees next to water. Let's, let's do that in Animal Crossing. <laughs> so yeah, that is pretty much the difference. Let me bring up my camera here and see if I can kind of show you a little bit more. But yeah, I just wanted to keep that area just natural, make it feel like it's just not accessible. I might go up there and throw in some weeds here and there, but there's just not a lot of room in terms of uh, like where I can place items just because of the fact that it's only like one square between uh, the water area and the edge of the cliff and stuff. So that is why uh, there's not a lot of decorations. Oh my goodness, there's a balloon. <laughs> So uh, trying to, like I said, trying to keep it as natural as possible, and yeah, that's the the biggest change with the campsite. Not a lot changed with this one as compared to the entrance, uh, but just enough to kind of tell you guys that we changed it, that I changed it from the original uh, the original speed build that you guys had. So next, let us check out the resident house area. Alright guys, so this is the resident house area. Probably one of the biggest, biggest changes that you will notice from the speed build to this one is the fact that everything is now up a second level. We are no longer on the main level of the island. Everything has been moved up to the second level and the third level and everything is more compact. So that was the part that really, really made me reevaluate my island because I was starting to do another build uh, on my island starting to uh, construct another speed build and just when I was trying to create those views I didn't get that feeling of a floating island and so that's when I started looking around my island and being like am I really staying true to this theme and I know a lot of you could be like oh you don't have to stay true to the theme just you know play how you want and that that is 100% true you guys definitely play how you'd want to I just wanted to do the sky core 
really, really bad and I wanted to stay true to that. I really wanted to push myself to really stick to this theme. And um, even though this this island, this floating island of my resident home is still kind of, uh, kind of big, um, it gives me more of that, that sky core feeling of it floating, of it being um, a floating island. <laughs> I will come back later and put in some clouds around here as well. I just haven't done that yet. That's going to probably be one of my last things that I do on this island is putting in the clouds and the, the decor for all the views in that terms because of the fact that I want to make sure that I build everything up first before I worry about the the empty blue space around the island. So that'll be one of the last things that I do on this island as I'm working through these spade builds. But let's go ahead and check out this island or check out the resident house itself. And I will go into more detail about the things that I've done differently. Okay, so right away guys, a lot of changes have been made. So first and foremost, the one thing that has been consistent is the access to this island is through the pipe. That was the way it was before on the old island. Um, but the biggest change right now is that there is no access to the beach, there's no access to the peninsula, and the garden that I created before was on the second level, it is now, it stayed on the second level, it's no longer on the same level as my actual house. So I kept that down here. I did want to keep a garden because of the fact that um, I want to have these items for when I want to make food and things like that, and uh, still have access to all of that, those resources from the island. I also changed um, how much space we're working with here, kept it very compact. Even though we can see that there is a waterfall over here, we can't access that in any way, shape, or form. So if we head up to this next level, we did keep with the, the ladder because I didn't want to take up a lot of space with a ramp. This brings us up to the house itself. We still have the swinging bench off to the side but we do not have the silo. We don't have um, the, the waterfall on this level anymore. It's just a very simple swinging bench with the lights behind it and the, the rugs down here as well. Um, wanted to also make it so that way you can't really see the water. I know you can kind of see it from the side there, but I wanted to make it feel like you were really up in the the clouds with this one so I try to make it that you can't see any of the water or any other ground effect uh, when you come and explore this island. Um, on the side there there is that lower portion of it which is just the wheat fields, the, the trees, and the, uh, the windmill. I'm, I'm becoming a huge fan of the windmill, just letting you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Um, but then I also have this little little seating area here, which I didn't have before. Um, there is going to be no stargazing like I did in uh, the original speed build for my resident home. And that is just because of the fact that it just didn't work out as I was reconstructing this area. Uh, I do have plans to relocate it near the museum. So when we get to that point, the museum will have a an official stargazing area. I do like to keep those because I do like to do wishes upon stars, especially when I know that there's going to be a shooting star event on my island, and I like collecting those uh, star fragments and stuff, so definitely going to keep up with that. But that is basically the biggest changes. Obviously, the, the resident home being the biggest biggest change of all of my speed builds so far because of the fact that it just was a huge, huge area that I was working on. I wanted to compact it to make it truly feel like it was a floating island, to make it feel like it was a part of Skycore. And so if you guys want to better understand what I mean when I say Skycore, or you want to have a better idea of my vision in terms of Skycore is if you guys ever get a chance to either play or um, see images of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, I'm talking about the village that 
Link and Zelda grew up in. They were in a floating island village and the only way that they could get to other islands or even down to the surface is they had to fly on gigantic birds called moth wings. Now obviously we don't have this, those in this game, but um, basically uh, that is my big inspiration for my Skycore. I want it to feel like we are on a floating island. So that pretty much concludes the update. Um, I'm going to hold off on showing you guys the interior of my house until I release my dream address and do an official tour. I keep that and um, the interiors of my villagers as well. Actually, I did promise you guys a quick sneak peek and preview of what I'm doing next on my island. So this is my island so far and up in the upper left hand corner is one of my neighborhoods that I'm working on. Originally it was going to be five houses in this area. We are now down to three and I have to figure out where my other two are gonna go but uh, that gives you a general idea of what that's gonna look like. So here you go guys, this is your preview. I am not gonna go into it any further because I do not want to spoil the official build or official speed build video that I'm going to hope to release in the next few weeks. This portion of the island is inspired by two creators, AU Create, who did a cool water side resident area. If you YouTube that, you'll be able to find her video. And then Boise Crossing did a waterfall neighborhood with a land bridge. And so I took inspiration from both of those amazing YouTube creators and wanted to use that in this neighborhood to kind of give it that, that natural look and things, but also making it feel like it's a part of a floating island. So there's still lots for me to do here. There's still lots of decorating left to do, still lots of planning and things like that. So this just kind of gives you an idea of what to expect on my island here in the next couple speed builds. So yeah guys, that is my huge update on my island. I uh, just wanted to show you again the changes that I've made, mostly because of the fact that I've put out these speed builds. And I didn't want you guys to come back at the end of me finishing my island and be like, okay, that's not what she did in the speed build, so. <laughs> So I wanted to do this little update for you guys and just kind of show you what I've done a little bit differently, why I did things differently, my explanation for everything. So that way when we come back at the end of all these speed builds for this particular island theme, you, you're not like, what, what's going on here? So, so yeah, that's, that's really what has changed on it so far. I will keep the old videos up because even though they did not fit with my Skycore theme, I still really, really loved them. I still loved how they turned out. So I want to leave them up there for anybody who gain or gets inspiration from them that enjoyed watching them. I will leave those up there for you guys to enjoy. But that is all for this update. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching wherever you guys are in this amazing world. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep on being inspirational. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.